Hello, this is Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM. I am an ENT consultant practicing at Ashwantpur. I consult at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital Ashwantpur as well as my clinic which is Srinivas Speciality ENT Center uh, which is located in Ashwantpur. So uh, the question is whether someone can have a headache uh, because of dry air. I mean, uh, there is no clear-cut, um, let's say, a black and white answer. I cannot say uh, every person who is exposed to dry air will have headache. And uh, at the same time, uh, we do know people who uh, are exposed to dry air can get headache. Uh, so why do people who are exposed to dry air uh, get headache? Uh, nose and sinuses are uh, the humidifiers of the airway. That is, uh, when you breathe air through your nose, uh, the sinus and the nose, uh, they are lined with uh, a lining called as mucosa which secretes mucus. Now this mucus helps to humidify the air that we breathe so that when the air reaches the lungs, it doesn't singe the lungs or the alveoli. Uh, that is, it doesn't burn it uh, by being, becoming a little bit more cooler as it goes through the nose and the nasal passage and also it becomes humidified so it carries a little bit of moisture inside. Now, if you are in a region which is uh, dry, I mean, let's say a desert, uh, there are two types of deserts. Uh, one is where it's very cold, uh, like um, you're in a, uh, you're in Greenland or Iceland, uh, where a lot of uh, uh, ice and snow is there, and the, the air that you breathe hardly has any moisture in it. Uh, that is also dry air, and you are in a desert where the temperatures are really soaring high, and uh, because the temperatures are so high. It drains out all the moisture in the air. Now both of these can promote what is called as um, crusting within the nose. The uh, nasal mucosa can dry up and because the nasal mucosa dries up there is no um, lubricant within the nasal mucosa. It can crust, it can cause cracks, it can cause ulcers. So that way it can uh, cause some amount of pain. If the crusting is too much then it can um, press upon neighboring structures, um, stimulate nerves and can cause pain. So yes, dry air can cause pain, but the mechanism is quite convoluted.